Hi, in today's discussion, we'll be talking about measures of dispersion or variability. This is a value that measures the spread or variability of the observation in the data set. Here are some measure of variability. We have the first one, the range. This is simply the difference of the highest value and the lowest value. The second is the variance. This is the mean of the square deviation of the observations. The third is the standard deviation. It's the positive root of the variance. And the fourth is the coefficient of variation. This is the ratio of the standard deviation and the mean. Let's talk about ungrouped data. So this is a simple example. Consider the weights of four female college students in kilograms. We have 49, 57, 49, and 50. So to take the range, simply get the difference of the highest value and lowest value. That is 57 minus 49. The value would simply 8. Second is the variance. The symbol is sigma squared. And the formula is the summation of the square of the difference of the observation and the mean. That is the Greek letter mu divided by the total number of observation. So we'll be needing two variables to complete the formula. You have the summation of the square of the difference of x and mu, and of course, capital N. So in our table, the first column would be our observation. In our second column, this is the difference of the observation and the mean. To do that, we need to take the mean or the average of the observation. So this is simply using Excel formula is equal to the average then open parenthesis and we highlight this observation press enter and we have 51.25 so we'll be using this value for mu we now compute for the second column this is equal to our x value minus our mean 51.25 press enter and we have negative 2.25 now we simply place the dollar sign for the value for mu to keep it on the same value before we drag our formula. So there you go. 57 minus 51.25 is 5.75. And 49 minus 51.25 is the same as negative 2.25. And 50 minus 51.25 is negative 1.25. We simply square this value. That is equal to itself g9 multiplied to g9. So we now have our value which is 5.0625. We simply copy the formula or apply the same formula. And to get the summation of these four, below it we simply take the sum that equals sum open parenthesis. I like these values and press enter so we have a summation of 44.75 so in this value this is equal to 44.75 and the total number of our observation is four you can also apply the count formula that's equals count open parenthesis and it will count the number of observation that is exactly four now to compute for our variance this is simply the quotient of 44.75 divided by 4. And that is 11.1875. We try to round it off to two decimal place, so that's 11.19. So that would be our variance. For our standard deviation, we simply take the square root of our variance. So this is equals SQRT open parenthesis of the variance value and that would be 3.34 that would be our standard deviation and to take our coefficient of variation we simply take the quotient of our standard deviation and the mean that is equals standard deviation divided by the value of the mean which is 51.25 press enter and we get a decimal value of 0 0.06526. Convert this to percent. 
or simply multiply it with 100%, this will become 7% or in at least one or two decimal place, it's 6.53%. So this is now the value of our measure of dispersion or variability and group data.